Okay, so last night was a big night. Last night was the 2023 Pell Awards. They were actually supposed to be handed out in 2019, and then, mm -hmm. well, as you recall, there was a little a little thing called COVID. Uh, so <laughs> last night, Trinity <laughs> Trinity Europe handed uh, handed out the uh, the awards and announced four Rhode Islanders that were honored. Now on the list is our friend Trudy Cox, who is the executive director for the Preservation Society of Newport, mm -hmm. along with the great Barney B. Evans, creator of Waterfire. Mm -hmm. Trinity also honored actors Ted Danson and his lovely wife, uh, Mary Steenburgen, with a Pell Award for Lifetime Achievement in the Arts. And we had the chance to catch up with both of them. Welcome to Providence. Thank you so much. It's so beautiful here. Congratulations on this Lifetime Achievement Award. Now, I just wanted to say, a lot of times when people start getting Lifetime Achievement Awards. You're about to croak. Yeah. Well, you know. We don't know. If you know something, we don't know. We're feeling pretty good, but... Who knows? Well, look, I mean, you folks have done so. so make this interview good. No, I know, I know, exactly, exactly. Maybe our last. So, I mean, look, you, you folks have done so much for, for the arts, and it really does mean so much to, to so many people. Can you talk about um, all of the work that you've done and what it's like to receive this award? And it's a prestigious award from, from Pell. Well, well, instead of all the work we've done, why this means a lot to us is we've been blessed to live a creative life, and I'm 75, and I'm still get to pursue what I love, which is creativity. And the fact that Trinity and Senator Pell are all about making sure that everybody in the school systems get to have that same opportunity of being introduced to the arts. Because when you do that, kids' grades take off, their passion for life, their curiosity, everything increases. So to be honored by this, it feels really good. And I went to, through public schools in Arkansas, and my teachers and my exposure to singing and dance and acting were, they changed my life forever. So we, we always will continue the fight for especially public schools, but for all kids to have exposure to the arts. And Trinity for us here in Rhode Island is such an extraordinary place with so many great actors that have come out of this out of this company before. Have you been able to go to a see anything at Trinity or been to Trinity before? No, and we're hoping that we get to at least go walk around the stage tomorrow with uh, We're yeah. very close with Richard and Sharon Jenkins and Sharon of course is a brilliant uh, choreographer and Richard was my husband in Step Brothers. <laughs> so, uh, speaking of the arts. <laughs> <laughs> the arts, right? High art. So uh, that's one of the reasons we're here, too. Dev, look at this. Whoa, look at, this photo look you at guys. This. Look Movers and shakers. <laughs> Myself, Brendan, out there with, uh, with uh, you know, Ted Danson and Mary Steenburgen last night. What a great night. And they are incredibly good people and just really just super nice. We look like, say. Oh, we sorry, look like they're adopted children. <laughs> <laughs> But I will say, you guys came in this morning and you were raving about how they nice really they are. were and like gracious nice with people. their time. Yeah, you yeah. know, I know these you know these events can be so busy for them, and the fact that they you know just gave you guys so much time right, and, right. and really had a good time talking. So nice. Ted Danson and Mary Steenburgen have uh, both appeared on Curb Your Enthusiasm yes. many yep. times, and they are hysterical when they're on with Larry right. David. So there I am talking to them about <laughs> those appearances, and it was lovely. And my mother was so excited that I was going to get to meet Mary. It's all she talked about on Sunday. So at the end of our little wrap around there. Mary said to me, say hi to your mom. Oh, yes, how yes. Sweet was I that? love that. And also, you guys know how much I love Cheers, and Will, you were there to witness this. I said to Ted Danson, listen, listen to me, by the way. Right, of course. <laughs> Recounting yeah. a conversation with the one and only Ted right. Danson, I told him how uh, you know, that Thursday night lineup was very potent back in it the day with big. Cheers and Night Court and yes. all those great shows on Thursday nights. Thursday night was the night that my brother and I would go to our dad's house. Mm -hmm. So the Cheers theme is really synonymous with Thursday night at dad's from yeah. when I was growing up. And I told Ted Dance and I said, you know, I lost my dad about a year and a half ago. I said, if he knew that I was here with you, Ted Dance, and at this event, I said he would have been over the moon. Right. And Ted looked at me and he goes, you know what, he is with us right Aww. here in spirit. And Mary echoed the same thing. So it was just really awesome. And yeah. Will, you know how much that moment meant to me. No, it, it really was. And you know, it, it wasn't something like, you know, you see some 
these people who, you know, they may not be genuinely yeah. interested in yeah. it. And they were genuinely interested in it, genuinely kind, yeah. and spent so much time with, with a lot of different you know, folks who were there last night. It really was. It was a great night, and they were uh, they were super nice people. I love that and you said that to Brent, Brenton, though, about your mom, because Brent, I mean, she's, li she's listening. They, like, they listen. It was almost surreal standing there, especially when we start talking, you know, talking with the two of them. And right? I told him, I said, I'm re-watching Cheers from the beginning. <laughs> and he goes, and he loved that. Loved and, you know, it. last month was the 30th anniversary of the finale of Cheers. Right. So it really is a time in, in culture that is marked by just that iconic show that he was on. And they've done so much great work, and they continue to do just such great yeah, work. Yeah, that's unbelievable. Which, and Ted Danson has flawless hair. He does. He's really like an <laughs> he icon. He really does. They're striking couple. They really are. <laughs> we should have invited them to Twin Oaks, because I think they would have come with us last night. I think they would have. Yeah. Uh -huh. We'd be getting them the table. Oh, the right. irony, right? Oh, yeah, yeah. Well, big thank you to them and, of course, to our friends at Trinity right. for being included in such a lovely evening. Well, Tuesday morning is here, and talk about a place where everybody knows your name. Am I right? Right here on the road show, we have a terrific show lined up for all of you. Listen to this. Our buddy Jerry DuPont from Edible Creations by Jerry is in the kitchen. We will have your TMZ update. Now, I hear that Taylor Swift is single again. Audrey, perhaps it's time for me. I think it's time <laughs> We are never, ever getting together. Uh, our friend Robin from Reading with Robin will join us. And if you like cute, adorable dogs, oh my goodness, wait till you see what's going on. Our friends from Dogtopia and also Karen from Animal Talk will join us with some adorable four-legged friends. So let us not waste another minute of precious, valuable network affiliate airtime. Let's get to it and send it over to Will. Thanks, Bob.